Hello, I'm Yosuke uh, from uh, RIT Tokyo. Uh, today, <coughs> I'd like to uh, introduce Leo FS. Right? As, we can, as you know, uh, Leo FS is released open source, as open source uh, at, on July 4th. After that, we have been improving it step by step. And uh, today, LFS version 0.12.0 released. Uh, please check LFS site, this URL. And today I have three topics. First is motivation. Second is overview and insight. Last is future and future works. First topic is motivation. I'd like to share that I started uh, Leo FS. As of 2010, I assumed that we need to store and manage huge amount of media files, uh, such as image, document, and so on, at low cost. Why? As you can see, uh, last time, we have uh, any image files, uh, that paint uh, Shashinkan, recipe, news, and so on. They have been continually increasing day by day. <coughs> on the other hand, I find storage problems. A lot of web service depends on very expensive storage, which is stored unstructured data, such as image, document, and so on. Uh, we should uh, resolve uh, storage problems. It's three. Uh, first, it's low ROI. Low budget service did not pay uh, when using it. Second, it's possibility of single point failure or, uh, depends on uh, system layout. Third, it's storing edge expansion is difficult during uh, increasing data. Uh, year by year, uh, unstructured data has been increasing, uh, exponentially in increasing. So let's see this slide. Amazon S3 uh, has reached uh, over 762 billion files at the end of 2011. The number fit uh, into an um, exponential problem running pretty well. And also, uh, we uh, have faced the same situation. So uh, we need to uh, store and manage huge amount of media files uh, at low cost in Lacten. Leo FS belongs to object storage system, uh, such as Amazon S3, uh, Atomos 2, EMC Atomos 2, uh, Claudian, ReactCS, and so on. At last summer, uh, I released earlier uh, the privileged version as photo storage. Uh, I focus photo uh, because uh, we have a huge amount of image files. Uh, but earlier uh, was first step as cloud storage. So this year, uh, I have been developing uh, improving LFS. LFS uh, hand various uh, unstructured data, uh, such as photo, document, movie, uh, real image, load, and so on. LFS aim to uh, data hub uh, in the cloud. Uh, and I decided that uh, LFS uh, provides uh, clients. Uh, but instead, uh, we adapt uh, Amazon S3 API. Uh, you can use any clients, uh, GUI clients, SVFSG, and program language clients, Java, Ruby, Python, and so on. Uh, it's central Leo FS. Uh, we will uh, build uh, Leo FS platform in Lacten. Of course, you can build it too. Uh, and uh, we aim to uh, realize three heights. Uh, high cost performance, high reliability, and high scalability. We would like to provide 
the most powerful object storage system. It needs, needs uh, three hides. Second topic is overview. Uh, I'd like to share that how we realize uh, three hides. The OMS consists of three functions, uh, storage, gateway, and manager. And, uh, those functions depend on Aran. Aran, uh, Aran's runtime system uh, has built-in support for concurrency, distribution, and for tolerance. Some of it used uh, in telecom, banking, e-commerce, messaging, and so on. First is Gateway. Gateway uh, handles HTTP requests and response from any clients. And Gateway has uh, already has uh, built-in uh, cache mechanism. And uh, storage handles uh, swearing, resolving, and uh, object. And uh, storage has uh, any function. Uh, other functions, replicator, recovery, queue, uh, for continue operation. The last is uh, manager, slide left side, uh, right side. Uh, manager uh, always monitor uh, gateway storage uh, nodes, uh, mainly uh, monitoring uh, link status and node status. It realizes high availability. As you can see, the uh, OLS system layout is uh, completely uh, simple. Gateway, manager, uh, storage, and manager. And outside, uh, too. The most dis distinctive uh, feature of the OLS uh, is completely uh, high availability, realized high availability. Uh, because the uh, OLS is monitored uh, inside the uh, mutual servers and uh, monitoring from manager. Uh, also, LOS uh, is monitored, uh, it's monitored uh, monitoring tool and GUI console. This slide is an example of uh, system layout. LOS uh, is able to flexible uh, build uh, system, storage system, from one server for development. A uh, true twenty server for fifteen terabyte capacity, two fifteen server uh, for three hundred terabyte capacity and more. <coughs> and also, uh, you can choose them or uh, VMware for manager and gateway nodes. Furthermore, Leo is able to store a, a various kind of various uh, unstructured data. You can build uh, any. Uh, system. Uh, for instance, uh, log analysis platform and uh, pass or ears and media platform. Uh, you can build data hub uh, with zero effects. Next slide is uh, inside zero effects. Uh, gateway has HTTP effects uh, and Always has project cache mechanism. Gateway and storage is uh, communication with Aran RPC. <coughs> Manager communicate with other nodes uh, Aran RPC too. And uh, those functions set of loosely connect uh, with RPC. Uh, gateway detail. Uh, gateway consists of state of proxy and uh, object of cache. Uh, during high load, uh, you can easily increase uh, gateway nodes. Also, object cache mechanism realizes uh, reduction of traffic gateway between gateway and storage. Gateway requests to uh, storage uh, by link. Link means a uh, uh, routing table. Uh, using uh, constant hashing, it realizes horizontal distribution. Next is uh, storage. <coughs> storage is 
ストレースコンシスオブ、えー、メタデータサーバーストレオブジェクトストレージサーバーリプリケーターリベアラー、えー、キューアンソーオンメタデータイッツリプリケーテッドアザーノーツイッツシミラーアンオブジェクトメタデータキープスアンインメモリーインデックスオブオールデータアンオブジェクトストレージクリエイツプルーラルレオフェスオブジェクトファイルフォーマットアンオブジェクトコンテナーズ So any object is stored into an object container. Next is I like to share a leverage data structure. Metadata consists of file name, file size, offset, version, timestamp, checksum, and so on. When object retrieves by file size and offset, Also, uh, needle. Needle is the OS original file format. As you can see, uh, needle uh, also uh, metadata color is gray and uh, an actual file and footer. Last is uh, object container. Object container consists of super block and uh, any needle. Uh, next is I like to share why I adopt this strategy. Uh, as you can see, uh, as you know, a traditional file system uh, is, is structured plural layers. Uh, so it uh, consumes any memories and file open cost is uh, very high. On the other hand, the uh, OS uh, file system object stage is very simple. Uh, structure uh, flat layer and uh, because it is structure uh, the mechanism uh, commonly called uh, robust structure with storage and uh, it realizes robustness and high performance uh, next is uh, retrieve um, object from uh, storage uh, first uh, storage engine uh, retrieve metadata Uh, from metadata storage, then uh, storage engine uh, retrieve uh, an actual data uh, when using uh, metadata offset and size. Next is insert an object uh, into the storage. Uh, this mechanism is very, very simple. Uh, storage engine uh, insert metadata uh, into the metadata storage, then storage engine append the object into the uh, object container. But uh, this mechanism uh, occurs a side effect. Uh, storage engine sometimes need to uh, reduce unnecessary objects. Uh, let's take a measure uh, for less uh, an effect uh, and compaction. During compaction, real OFS storage uh, diffuse uh, an request from other nodes. After compaction, uh, storage cluster automatic automatically recover uh, consistency of objects. Uh, a new feature uh, of version uh, 0.0.0 uh, real OFS uh, is uh, large object support. Uh, This purpose is able to equalize this usage of each storage nodes and high I.O. Uh, efficiency. Case of this slide is light operation. An object is divided to a plural chunk object. One, three, four, uh, and then uh, in, in charge of storage, uh, right in charge of storage nodes. So it realizes uh, equalize uh, disk usage. Uh, in next minor version, uh, we implement uh, marriage part and uh, range request support. Uh, next is uh, manager detail. Uh, manager distribute uh, uh, link and uh, cluster members uh, for to gateway and storage. 
Uh, also, manager provides that it's able to relation uh, functions uh, such as data suspend, resume, uh, node detach, and uh, final assignment. As I mentioned, uh, real based vertical storage system. Uh, because uh, it is able to uh, build a strongest uh, storage system. The last topic is future works. First is uh, multi layer cache. Uh, this purpose is uh, high performance, uh, low latency, and high IO efficiency. Uh, we will uh, use uh, secondary cache uh, uh, SSD so it realized low latency and uh, second topic is uh, second uh, it's a multi data center for geographical optimization and this purpose is uh, high scalability high availability <coughs> I expect uh, more High scalability uh, and high availability, this uh, mechanism. Uh, now, now I have been considering uh, it from three months ago. In the future, we will uh, provide it. Uh, last is uh, WebGUI console. Uh, from uh, one month ago, uh, I, uh, have, I implemented uh, this. Uh, Maybe it tools its a log analyzer and system console. Uh, last uh, wrap up. I would like to provide uh, in lab ten for uh, outside lab ten a powerful storage system. Uh, it needs three heights: high cost performance, high reliability, and high scalability. Uh, please try LOFS and please join us. Thank you for your time. From uh, I'm, about, I'm, I'm working for the reality domain team as a team leader. Uh, our team conducted several research topics such as uh, image processing and user interface and uh, augmented reality and so on. So today I'd like to talk about uh, one of our activities. It's the um, most futuristic topic. Uh, it's a uh, next generation user interface and uh, user experience. Uh, first, uh, please look at this figure. It's an overview of integrating the real and the net. Uh, here is the past, and uh, here is now, and in, in the future. So, uh, several, recently, several devices and sensors are developed. So, uh, the real and the net are getting integrated. So, let's think about uh, shopping experience. So, in the past, we were like this. We had only real physical world. That's it. And now we have computers and we have the internet. So we got a new lifestyle by using the internet. So you know, uh, recently uh, some wearable devices and very, very small devices are developed, uh, proposed from several companies, uh, such as Google Glass and Galaxy PM and Mindset and uh, iPhone Kinect. Uh, Kinect is a good uh, 3D text sensor. So I think uh, those kind of uh, devices accelerate the trend of integrating the real and the net. So in the near future, other devices and the uh, sensor network will accelerate, uh, sorry, uh, will integrate the real physical world with digital information. So in the near future, the real and the net will collaborate naturally at all times. I think. So here, please imagine the future. 
what kind of shopping ex experience do you expect in that future? Using such kind of devices and sensors. Yeah, actually, I <laughs> I searched a future image uh, using these two words, shopping and future, uh, using by uh, Google Image Search, and I got some images uh, to re related to uh, this word. Uh, here is the image. Image it. It's very attractive for me. Maybe you know. Uh, so this is the future, I think. And this is our current website. What do you think? Is it enough for that future? Such situation? I think not. So under that vision, we are preparing for the future. Uh, so now uh, we are considering uh, several basic applications, especially augmented reality and uh, user interface, including natural user interface. So from here, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, some of our activity briefly. First one is uh, one of our augmented reality application. We call it the system AR Hitoke, augmented reality Hitoke. So, uh, so using this system, you can find the popularity of comments on the real products. Uh, here is the movie. In this movie, uh, there are three products, uh, three souvenirs on the table. And uh, there are also a uh, marker on the price tag, each, each price tag. And uh, using this system, through your iPhone, you can find the popularity or comments uh, which are represented by uh, human characters. Uh, those human characters' color means uh, user's attribute, uh, like uh, gender or age, or like this <coughs> uh, And uh, if there are many pink or red human characters, the product is popular for women. In contrary, if there are uh, blue human characters, the, the product is popular for men. So, also you find the comments uh, like this. Uh, the co those comments uh, are gotten from SNS, uh, like Twitter or social, uh, Facebook and so on. So you can compare uh, which product is most popular uh, like this. And the second is a topic regarding user interface. Uh, this system uh, can uh, realize um, fashion coordinator on the, real, uh, on the net. Uh, traditional website, uh, uh, the merchant uh, just listed the product image like this. So we cannot uh, imagine uh, which coordinator is good uh, using such, some product. So we propose this system. Uh, using this system, you can check the coordinate, fashion coordinate, tops and bottoms and shoes like this. So when you swipe the close image or uh, tap the bottom, you can change the uh, coordinate. And uh, those images are all uh, generated from our existing uh, product images on our site automatically. But, uh, First, this system recognizes and removes a background region and uh, uh, adjusted the uh, image size automatically. can also change the background so you can uh, evaluate which kind of coordinate is suitable for any situation. So uh, in this movie, you choose the uh, C background. And if you find the product, you can jump to the, our website. 
And uh, we already extended this application into the real world, so you can check the uh, coordinate with your own growth, real growth and virtual growth like this. And the next one is uh, natural user interface uh, application. Uh, in, in the real world, we can express the size you want, like uh, uh, using a gesture like this, Konokurai no TV, Telegram. Uh, but uh, on the net, uh, we cannot. So we propose this system. Uh, please look at this movie. Uh, there is a Kinect on the TV, and the Kinect detects the user's hand position and as calculate uh, the length uh, between two hands. And uh, background, uh, the system search the TV uh, using this size interactively. And the uh, user find uh, some favorite product. Uh, user can uh, user can jump to left hand side. And more uh, regarding natural user interface. Natural user interface means not to use uh, uh, input devices such as mouse, keyboard, and so on. So, it is important to how to input uh, some keyword or sentence. So we propose uh, this system. Uh, this system uh, recognizes a stroke uh, of alphabet, uh, which use a lot in the air. Uh, so please look at this movie. Uh, your line is uh, stroke history, uses hands position, and use a lot R, K. So uh, some keyword are suggested. Uh, in purple uh, box, and the uh, user can touch uh, the, those uh, purple box, and uh, uh, when user touch the word Rokushita, it's a cosmetic company name, uh, those uh, uh, result uh, show and uh, touch, the, touch one of the images, uh, the page uh, shown on the uh, left, left side, like this. So, so let's sum up my presentation. So today I talked about the uh, trend of integrating the real and the net, and I introduced some of our uh, activities. Uh, finally, uh, as a uh, message, uh, our mission is creating a new uh, next generation user experience. So if you have any interest, uh, let's create the future together by new technology. Uh, that's all. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry, so this is a here from Intelligence Domain. So, so for today, I would like to talk about uh, introduce uh, Intelligence Domains. The title is Create More Value by Analyzing Massive Data. So first of all, so as you can see, so uh, Rakuten operates uh, various kinds of uh, services, such as Rakuten Ichiba, uh, travel, and bank, and uh, uh, securities, and credit card, and so on. And recently, so Rakuten is also expanding to the uh, global issue market, as shown in this video. So now so we have uh, many services. And also, all of them are creating the uh, various kinds of the data, such as the transaction data, and the query log data, and the review data, and the product data, and so on. 
And also, uh, the data size is also increasing. So this is a case of the Wakten Japan Chiba. And as you can see, the all of the GMS, the product number, and review number, uh, all of them are increasing rapidly in the recent years. So uh, it is important for us to analyze uh, various uh, kind of large size of data and extract some useful knowledge and to apply our services. So that is uh, uh, intelligence domain's uh, scope. So again, uh, our mission, the intelligence domain mission is to create uh, more value uh, by applying the natural language processing and uh, data mining and machine learning techniques and statistical analysis and so on. So we also have uh, various kind of the research projects such as uh, recommender system, review analysis, review analysis and products such as system and so on. So uh, in this talk, my talk, so I would like to introduce uh, research examples from uh, those two uh, research projects. Okay, so let's move to the first session, uh, so first uh, examples. So product uh, such, such as systems. So I'll give you some examples. So suppose uh, one user uh, want to purchase items with uh, it, uh, one piece item in Lactin Chiba and the user uh, search the Lactin Chiba with keyword one piece. And then the users, I'm sorry, then users uh, return the tons of result. So this is the actual number. So we have uh, 1.1 million uh, products in uh, uh, Lactin Chiba which includes keyword one piece. So <laughs> it's almost impossible to check the, all the result. So we users need to narrow down the search result. So the, uh, there are main, uh, two approach, uh, mainly two approaches to narrow down the search result. The one is for uh, selecting the related keywords as shown in this figure. So now the Lactin provides this time the uh, related keyword functions. And this is, this is basically a circuit based on the user query analysis. So uh, the other, the second point, second one is uh, to select the product categories. So uh, previously, in the past, so Lactins uh, provide a product category selection function with this long list. So did you remember this uh, uh, selection uh, uh, interface? So too long. So uh, it is important. It, it is hard for users to select uh, appropriate uh, categories. So uh, to solve this problem, so RIT uh, developed the general suggestion uh, uh, category suggestion functions as shown in this figure. So category uh, suggestion function shows the only uh, related uh, product category suggestion in this figure. So this is an example of the one piece, and those, mainly those three uh, categories are shown in automatically. So by uh, this simple list, so users can easily select to the appropriate uh, categories. So the question is how to pick up those uh, related categories for the, each keyword. So uh, to extract uh, related categories, so we extracted uh, users' uh, category selection behaviors in the search query log. So for example, in the case of one piece, so users' uh, category selection behavior is uh, highly biased to the woman clothing, uh, toys and hobby, uh, and game categories, and kids' data and maternity categories. So, uh, by extracting those biased uh, behaviors, then we, in this case, so those three uh, categories is uh, related categories for one piece. So uh, this is a, a basic approach to extract the related categories. So if we apply this kind of the uh, approach, so it is possible to uh, extract, uh, generate, uh, construct this kind of the uh, related category structures as shown, as shown in this figure. So we can see the pass, uh, three passes from the root node, and uh, one is under one, one, one is uh, under the almost, uh, hobby uh, toys and hobby and games category. One is a uh, women's clothing categories. And one is for kids, baby, and maternity categories. As shown in this so our uh, category suggestion functions refers to this genus, related genus structures and show uh, to users. Okay. 
So uh, the related category structure is also useful for the keyword autocomplete functions. So now the work test uh, offers users uh, not only the uh, keyword itself, but also the keyword associated with associated with uh, related categories as, as shown in this video. So if users select this one, then uh, Rakuten's uh, directory moves to the uh, uh, this pages. That means uh, automatically specifying the keyword and the category at the same time. So this increases usability. So by uh, through this those are technologies. So we are trying to uh, improve the user user speed usability in a Rakuten's Japan Rakuten Ichiban so. Okay, so the next uh, is about the uh, information extraction. So uh, currently, so we are uh, generating the time series database of the keyword, keyword time series database based on the uh, Lactens Ichibas uh, period of data. So this one is an uh, example is about the keyword Christmas from this point to the last week. So as you can see, uh, we can see the two peaks every end of the year as uh, I'm showing this video. And also, uh, this year, the Christmas season has already started. Yeah, people are starting to have, also, uh, have already started to do the Christmas site and see that in Ichiba. So this is uh, very, very interesting. So here is another example. It's a case of uh, sandal and ag. So you know ag is one of the boots. So the sa sandal has high seasons, of course, in the case, in the summer seasons, and ag has a high season in the autumn and uh, winter seasons. Okay. So uh, this kind of the time series data is uh, very, very useful for the not only the marketing, but also the uh, seasonality the functions. So uh, we also uh, developed the key recurrent keyword vector functions. So recurrent keyword is defined as a keyword having uh, their high seasons. So this is a case of the uh, school bank. Uh, indicating that uh, there are two high seasons in one year. The first one is around January, the second one is around uh, autumn, from October, uh, August, August. So uh, the first season, high season is natural because the parents uh, need to prepare the school back before uh, the end of the match, because a new school season will uh, start from every April. But uh, why the second season happens, does anyone know? So because the answer is the grandparents. So grandparents prepare the school bag for their uh, grandchild and then present it in a New Year's season. That is a, a mechanism of the second high seasons. So uh, with uh, those uh, time series data analysis, so we are trying to uh, contribute to our uh, services. Okay, so the, this is the second, uh, second example. So let me conclude this uh, talk. So intelligence domain is focusing on the X3, uh, uh, analyzing massive data. So uh, in this talk, I introduced uh, two research examples. And in the next session, so as you can see, the four uh, intelligence members will have uh, their presentations. Uh, so if you are interested in this uh, uh, data analysis, then please join in the next session. So that's all. Thank you for listening. Thank you.
eh, Joint Compaction eh, 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 es uh, eh, Compaction Nodes eh, Cost. Eh, so, eh, I eh, adapt eh, Compaction Compacting eh, Nodes, eh, Diffuse eh, Request from Other Nodes. Eh, so, eh, <coughs> so uh, after that, uh, compact, uh, after compacting, compaction, uh, class, storage cluster uh, recovered uh, consistency of uh, objects. Uh, second question uh, answer is uh, uh, advantage. Yeah. Uh, advantage is uh, first is uh, availability. Uh, I focused availability, high availability. Uh, so uh, LHS has a manager and uh, storage clusters nodes mutual uh, monitoring uh, nodes. Uh, so it realizes uh, high avail uh, av availability, I think. Uh, so, uh, and uh, cache mechanisms uh, built in gateway. Uh, so, uh, storage uh, clusters uh, 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 reduce uh, network traffic and uh, file I.O. less than less file I.O. Cache mechanism uh, uh, absorbed uh, file I.O. Uh, operation. Um. I had a question about the OFS. If I understand you correctly, you actually transfer the file between the storage and the uh, the front end that's delivering it to the client, right? So for some reason you chose to do that rather than say the mobile OFS approach of having somebody tell the client where to go for the actual file and then go to the machine that's actually holding it. Uh, the OFS is, uh, has uh, does not have has a uh, master server. Uh, manager is uh, monitoring uh, gateway and uh, storage. Uh, it's so uh, manager server uh, and uh, uh, not no single point of failure. Uh, so uh, storage cluster, uh, I adapt storage clusters, uh, method, method of storage cluster is P to P, peer to peer uh, strategy and uh, Manager uh, monitoring, uh, always monitoring, monitor uh, storage cluster. Uh, so uh, it's uh, higher, realize higher availability. Okay. So, so what, what is a writing paper? Because, uh, uh, for RIT, because uh, if you so write a paper before you uh, you shift the research toward business. Maybe other companies will still your project. Mm. I think it's a very dangerous. Mm. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, uh, some topics uh, we cannot publish the paper uh, for, especially for the fraud detection and so on. But uh, basically, so if we pass a patent issue, then we can. Uh, uh, write a paper, publish a paper to the not only the domestic companies but also international companies. Yeah. I uh, my question for Masco's son, Kitemiru uh, is very interesting systems, but I think mm, we have factors to sort of coordinate uh, higher, mm -hmm. vast hit rate. Yeah. This information. Mm, important factor. So, do you think this point? Yeah, I think that point is very important to check uh, coordinate. Uh, but uh, uh, in internet, it's very difficult to realize uh, such uh, function. So, my in my opinion, uh, it's uh, uh, suitable for the real uh, world. So. I don't. I I don't want to touch the point on the net. Uh, on the net, yeah. I I focusing on uh, the uh, coordination with large collection or huge data. Uh, so, 
such part, I think. Okay, it's time to move on. Uh, thank you for wonderful questions. And uh, everyone, please give them a big applause.